Trish Regan, co-founder of the investment research firm 1776research.com, host of The Trish Regan Show, is with us. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Uh, they say the consumer is the engine of the American economy. What happens when the consumer says, I have money to pay my rent and enough money to pay and buy some of my groceries, but not to buy things that are luxury items or non-essentials and not to go on vacation? Well, you get into a recession. I mean, pure and simple, that's what happens. And, and these things happen. Right now, you've got a recipe for a little bit of growth. I mean, right, we're seeing a little bit of growth in the economy, which is encouraging. But then you say, well, why are we seeing the growth? And the Federal Reserve recently came out and they said, we're seeing it because of immigration, which is interesting, but not necessarily helpful because a lot of the people that are coming into the country right now across the border don't have a lot of money to spend. So the little bit that they're getting or perhaps hand out from government, et cetera, is adding somewhat to the economy, but I don't think it's enough to really sustain things. So if everyday Americans really start cutting back, you're going to find yourself in a treacherous situation. Stagflation is being talked about. We haven't heard this term, right? Thrown around since the 1970s, Leland. And uh, I was too Trish, little. You Trish, 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 you, 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 you nor I was, alive, was alive to see stagflation. High inflation, high unemployment. We're not going to date ourselves. Yeah. Come on. Strength of the economy is poor. 57% uh, in Wisconsin, 60% in Pennsylvania, 62% in Nevada, 64% in Arizona, Michigan, North Carolina, Georgia all happen to be swing states um, as well. I'm wondering if people, and I think this goes back to what you were talking about, stagflation in the 1970s, I don't think people realize if it's poor now, how bad it can and very well might feel. Oh, sure. I mean, this is, this is a big concern. A big, big concern. I mean, Donald Trump, for as much How as he's hammered get? from Biden about the economy, has also made the point, like, gee, I don't want to come in and get a real mess. Because, by the way, no matter who's president now, you're probably looking at a real mess because the inflation issue, that is front and center. And once the train leaves the station, it's very hard to contain this. The Federal Reserve doesn't even really have the power at this point. Hey, they would love, they would absolutely love to lower rates right now, Leland, and give the economy a little bit of a goose going into an election. It would make people feel better. It would maybe free up some spending, but they can't do it because inflation is already bad enough. So this is not a good scenario by any stretch of the imagination. I think that people should be prepared for more challenging and more inflationary times ahead. The rule always is right. In, in all of these bad times, the rich and Wall Street get richer. We saw it through the recession. Um, we saw it through COVID. Um, and now we're seeing it in this weird period as well, that those um, with a lot of money already who are invested in the stock market and able to take advantage of certain investment opportunities are doing extraordinarily well. The top 10% of households by wealth had 6.7 million on average as a group. They held 66.9% of total household wealth. The bottom 50% had 50,000 on average, 2.5% percent and the the wealth gap right keeps widening uh the middle class in america is disappearing and does that ever reverse so fundamentally unfair Right, fundamentally unfair. And, and every politician tells us they're there to help the middle class. The Federal Reserve wants to help the middle class. Well, guess what? None of this is helping the middle class because the rich can handle inflation, right? It doesn't really matter that much if groceries go up 38% for the rich. But if you're living paycheck to paycheck and you're really dependent on having some fixed structure in your budget, this is going to hurt you badly. Well, I'll tell you, you know what? You see markets going higher when you got lots and lots and lots of cash being printed and circulated about markets. Markets move higher, which, guess what, benefits those that are invested in the market. So you got to be invested. I mean, you got to find a way to get invested in these markets and, and think about your future. It's important. But a lot of people, you know what, they don't have the luxury of that. And that's what's so um, disappointing, right? Disappointing to see, because this economic policy should be there for the betterment of everyone, to help the middle class, which is the strength, and historically anyway, Leland, has been the strength of the USA. Yeah. If we don't have that. We really are a banana republic. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.